Hey guys, everything known is on here. This is the timesofisrael.com and this is an article about uh, Yehuda Glick. Um, I'll show you the header there, timesofisrael.com. Uh, and uh, Yehuda, Yehuda Glick is the guy who um, keeps going up on the Temple Mount and praying and is actively uh, supporting and, and looking forward to a third temple, uh, which is prophetically significant in the Bible, obviously. And he replaces uh, Yoshe uh, Yalan, the defense minister who uh, resigned because he didn't agree with Netanyahu. So uh, Yehuda Click uh, gets into the Neset. Entering a Neset, Temple Mount activist brushes off doomsday predictions. So uh, with him getting in there, people are suggesting that, oh, the, this is end time prophecy because he is going to start pushing for the third temple. And uh, it, it's interesting stuff, interesting article. And I think I think it, it lines up a lot with Bible prophecy. While critics warn of explosion, Yehuda Click says he will advocate for the change of absurd and evil status quo at the holy site. Defends reform Jews, Palestinians seemingly unfazed. So Yehuda Click is this guy here. And Yehuda Click was shot by a terrorist, Palestinian terrorists um, in 2014. For a man shot point blank four times in 2014 by a Palestinian gunman who branded his enemies, him the enemy of Al-Aqsa, uh, incoming Likud, MK, and Temple Mount activist Yehuda Click is remarkably dismissive of any connection between his uh, vocal advocacy of Jewish prayer at Judaism's holy site and Palestinian terrorism. So the Jews aren't allowed to pray on the Temple Mount, uh, but it's obviously the Temple of David was there, and it's obviously uh, Israeli land uh, now and previous, and it always has been uh, Jewish uh, land, and yet um, because of the threat of terrorism that the, the, the Palestinians, the Arabs, have uh, put forth, um, Jews aren't allowed to pray uh, just because they uh, Israel doesn't want to uh, incite or encourage terror events by uh, the, you know the Palestinians or whomever is up there. I don't understand the complaint. He says the U.S.-born Orthodox rabbi told the Times of Israel, referring to the argument that his activism stokes violence and fatalistic predictions that his entry to the Knesset would could trigger attacks or a World War III. The 50-year-old redhead was sworn. Uh, into the uh, Neset on Wednesday after former Defense Minister Moshe Yalan resigned from Parliament last Friday, which I, which I spoke of. Gluck, who directs uh, Haliva, an organization that brings Jewish groups to the Temple Mount, is pledging to work with the Neset to change the absurd and evil arrangements at the volatile compound where Jews may visit but are forbidden from praying. I think this is really a, a, a prophetic move. Um, that I think he will start pushing for prayer on the mount, and yet uh, violence is going to escalate. Um, I think it's going to escalate to a point where we do almost get to a World War III, and then the Antichrist comes in and says, "Look, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, create calm. I'm going to allow for calm. And let's divide the Temple Mount. Let's uh, let's let the uh, Jews and the Arabs pray and give them separate areas." I think this lines up exactly with uh, Baal Prophecy, and it's really it's really cool stuff that's happening. It's going to lead to uh, some troublesome times for sure. But uh, although Israel has repeatedly reassured the Palestinians and Arabs, states that it will not alter the status quo at the Flashpoint site, Glick is confident he will find allies in the Neset to support his call. And ask whether he would tone down his lobbying if asked to do so for security reasons, he said there would be no reasoning behind such a request and maintain I will continue advocating. And I think it's the right of, of the Jews to certainly pray there. Why, why should only Arabs be able to pray on the Temple Mount? It is absolutely not an Arab uh, holy site uh, by any stretch. They built the the mosque on there after, uh, only after, and you know, in the recent years, uh, it was the Jews' land uh, for thousands of years, uh, basically. But in per perhaps the first glimmers of obstacles he may encounter in Parliament, on Monday, uh, Glick paid his last visit to the Temple Mount as a private citizen, and as Israeli lawmaker, Glick will uh, be effectively barred from the Temple Mount, a ban for which he has in the past voiced support, although he said he coordinated the visit uh, with Public uh, Security Minister Gilad Erdan. Uh, Glick was subsequently reprimanded by Netanyahu. This is the last time you do this to me, Netanyahu was heard telling a stunned Glick at the end of a Likud faction meeting. Um, so, and it goes on. Uh, Yehuda Glick's trying to, uh, Net Nessa would create a more pressure on the government to change the status quo. <clears throat> I think this is really going to drive change on the Temple Mount. And, and like I said, you can keep reading it. I'll put the link below. Uh, but I think uh, prophetically this is very significant. And I, I'd be interested to see what he does and what he, uh, you know, for who he gets on board with him uh, for the things that he wants to change 
uh, in Israel and on the Temple Mount. And uh, the Baal, Baal prophet does speak of uh, a third temple because the Antichrist is going to come. He's going to cease sacrifices. They need a third temple to sacrifice. And he's going to sit on the throne of the third temple even. And so the third temple has to be there. And I think Yehuda Glick is a foot in the door. And he's going to start pushing the Knesset and the country towards that. Um, that or violence will increase. I guess it's probably a combination of both. And uh, then the Antichrist will come in and say, look, we're going to stop all this violence on the Temple Mount. We're going to we're going to split it up and Jews get their own holy site and the Arabs get their holy site. And uh, everybody can be happy and pray, basically. And uh, but that leads to the seven year tribulation that kind of kicks off the seven year tribulation period. So uh, this is a very prophetically significant. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and we will see you in the next video.